Hey YouTube, Cody Warren the Film Nerd here, and sorry for the awkward space between videos, but uh, I was supposed to upload my first video last week, and unfortunately I used my external hard drive to back up my laptop, and now I can't open any of my original videos through Final Cut, and so I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to upload those beautiful masterpieces to YouTube ever again. But until then, I am going to talk about Valentine's Day. Yes, my friends, Valentine's Day is coming up soon, and as we all know, Valentine's Day is all about love. However, this being our first date, and not technically a date, we better not be throwing around the phrase, I love you. So instead, why don't we talk about romantic films, and more specifically, romantic comedies. Here's a little side note, I picked romantic comedies specifically because every film involves love. And if you don't believe me, try and prove me wrong. And uh, You know, if, if there's a film out there that doesn't have some sort of love interest whatsoever, post it in the comments, and, and if you're right and there is no love interest, I'll, I'll uh, I don't know, I'll give you a metaphorical pat on the back. How about that? That's pretty good. Now there are hundreds and hundreds of romantic comedies out there and they've become so popular in American society that nowadays there's at least one or more in theaters all year round. I'm not kidding you. Go to the theater right now, you will see a romantic comedy. I mean, Hollywood produces these romantic comedies all the time now and almost all of the biggest actors and actresses that you can name will fall into making or have fallen into making a romantic comedy at some point in their career. Now, if you think about it, romantic comedies are probably the most practical and realistic films made in Hollywood, yet they hardly ever get nominated. They're the kind of films that could be possible in real life, but just don't really make sense and wouldn't happen in real life. See, I have a theory why romantic comedies are hardly ever nominated for awards, and I've started to know this ever since I got interested in film. They're predictable. Honestly, romantic comedies are predictable, and if they weren't predictable, I feel like they wouldn't fit in that genre. You know, part of being a romantic comedy is that you know how it's going to end, at least between the two main characters. It's almost always true. Think about it, there are usually two main characters in a romantic comedy. And at first they may like each other, quite often they hate each other, and other times they're just thrown into random situations or jobs that force them to constantly see each other. Now one may hire the other one, one may work with the other one, one may see the other one all the time at the park or something, but either way, the relationship progresses and we get to watch the whole thing. Now of course there's that point later in the movie where something from earlier in the movie or one of the characters past, possibly a secret, comes back and ends up ruining the relationship for a while. The best friends or relatives of these main characters who have also managed to remain with us the entire movie somehow, in some way, end up managing to convince the main characters that the other person is their significant lover and uh, true love, you know, meant to be for the rest of their lives. Lives. Life. 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 And at some point they meet and they tell each other that they're sorry and some, you know, something else funny happens and, you know, all is well and dandy again and then everybody goes home happy. Everybody goes, yeah, that was funny and then it really sucked and then it got better again. So that was, that was good. I'm going home extremely happy. And that, I believe, my friends, is the basic setup for a romantic comedy that if it does not have those key factors, it's technically not a romantic comedy. And if you break out of that, well, it's pretty interesting that if you still are romantic comedies romantic comedy movie. Now, back to the point that a lot of actors fall into romantic comedies. I mean, we see a lot of the big name actors in romantic comedies quite a bit, and it's usually after they become significantly famous in Hollywood. Now, quite obviously, one of the best examples is, ironically, Valentine's Day. And so if you're interested in Valentine's Day, the movie, I've also done a vlog about that, and the annotation is right here. And that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you, YouTube, and goodbye. Bullets of love. Happy Valentine's Day.